Hey YouTube, have you ever been working on a project and been told that your impact driver is just making too much noise, it's too loud, you can't use that in here, and you're just devastated that you have to return to using either a drill or some other method for driving home that fastener? Well, we've got the answer for you today. I present to you the Gentleman's Impact. The Gentleman's Impact driver is quieter and just as powerful on small fasteners. We're going to cover that today here on Tinker with Tools. <laughs> Before we get going today, I want to say a special thank you to those that have taken the time to either subscribe, like, or comment on each of the videos that we put out so far. I really appreciate the feedback we're getting. It helps me make the channel better and hopefully keep getting you the tool reviews that I know you like to see. So today we're going to be talking about both the M18 and the M12 Milwaukee Hydraulic Impact Drivers. The Surge is their note. Back on our video with the Metapo HP2 Triple Hammer, I described in very basic terms how an impact driver works. Hex hydraulic impact drivers operate entirely differently. I've actually linked a video from one of Milwaukee's channels in Europe where they actually go into great detail to kind of discuss the difference in this and it provides some really clear illustrations for how this works. Now when you're working in confined spaces, either back in a tight cabinet or even just working in a small room where you don't have as much space, that impact driver can get old really fast if you're driving a lot of screws. The Surge actually provides, like I said, a quieter operation, a smoother delivery with less vibration, and can even have a more prolonged torque profile that while the peak torque doesn't hit the same levels that you're getting with a traditional impact, the prolonged duration or delivery of that torque actually can make it so you can drive the fastener just as quickly as with a standard impact driver. Now that's something we're going to test later on today when we compare these to their traditional counterparts. Now I was first introduced to the Surge when I was looking for an upgrade to my brushed Milwaukee basic impact driver that I had. It was a great tool, but it had no bells and whistles. I didn't think it was that fancy. It just kind of didn't really, it got the job done, but it didn't really provide any excitement when I was doing it. So I actually picked up the M18 Fuel Surge on a deal where it was a tool only and actually got that and that became my main impact driver. I used that for a couple of years before I ever ended up picking the actual Gen 3 one up on a Christmas holiday sale one year. And you can see that the actual size of the two is relatively similar, but that M18 Fuel uh, standard impact driver is shorter, is a little bit smaller. They weigh roughly the same, but it is more compact. Now the M18 Fuel Surge delivers 3000 RPMs in its highest speed with 450 inch-pounds of sustained torque delivery. I'm going to have a graphic here on the screen that's going to show you the actual images that Milwaukee provides to help illustrate the differences in that torque profile. What I've found is that for anything under about a three to three and a half inch fastener, you're actually getting very similar performance to the fuel, although maybe not quite as blistering fast. The fact that it does have a lower RPM, you do tend to notice that. But the trade-offs, like I said, it is a little bit smoother, it's significantly quieter. I feel like I can use the Surge in the house without disturbing even sleeping children because it's just that much quieter overall than your traditional impact driver. In 2019, Milwaukee actually announced that they were gonna make an M12 version of the Surge impact driver. Going to operate just like the, the M18 one, but in the M12 compact form. And actually, when I start quoting the numbers, you're gonna see some similarities here. There's 3,000 RPMs and 450 inch-pounds of sustained torque delivery. These two impact drivers actually have the exact same specs in just vastly different sizes. And when I do say different sizes, I really mean it. You know, one is considerably smaller. I realize I've got a very small battery on this one compared to a 5.0. I actually like to run this with 3.0s, but this is what we had today. But the funny thing is, the M12 version is actually a little bit longer, but it's a lot narrower. And so it feels smaller, even though it's actually a little bit longer. They operate very similarly, and we're going to show you what the difference is in actual real-world performance between those two variants. 
can they really be offering the same power in a much smaller package? Okay, so first test, we are gonna be doing a three quarter inch speed bore bit on speed three, full battery. This is the standard M12 impact driver. Ready, set, go. All right, now the same test with the M12 Surge, speed three. Once again, this one's got a nearly full battery. It's been used just a little bit more in some other testing. And on your mark, get set, go. So as you can see there, we actually experienced some cutouts with the M12 Surge. This is beyond what I would say is a reasonable expectation of what you should be able to get from the Surge. It's a little bit heavier of a duty of a task. That's not what this is made for. What I hope came across clear, and we're actually gonna have some decibel readings a little bit later on to try and illustrate just how much quieter that is. All right, now we're gonna be going to the M12, or the, sorry, the M18 standard impact driver. We're gonna be doing the same test in speed three. Ready, set, go. Now that was by far the fastest hole we're going to see tonight. The M18 standard impact driver just has more speed and power than anything I've tested up to this point. We'll see if we can find something that can beat it, but it really is just a lot stronger and a lot more powerful than really most other things on the market. Now I should point out all these are quick insert collets. They all do the same thing. So now here is the M18 Surge in speed three, same five amp hour batteries. Ready, set, go. All right, we're gonna stop there because as you can see, the M18 Surge just doesn't have the same power almost as what I feel the M12 version has. Back it out. We're using the same bit, drilling in the same type of pressure treated four x four, and it just doesn't seem to have the power to get through it. I don't know if I have a lemon, but the M12, you know, it did cut out twice, but it completed the hole, and we could be sitting here all night waiting for this to complete the hole. All right, now we're gonna be starting out with a standard half inch twist bit. Uh, this is just one of the quarter inch hex that fits nicely in here. This is the regular, this is the regular M12 hex impact driver, the fuel. Goes right through it. You can see it's not as, not as fast as its big brother, but it does the job doesn't stop at all. All right, and now we're gonna have the same test with the M12 Surge. Find a clear spot of wood. So you can see on that half inch bit, we're now a little bit smaller size you're not getting the same cutouts that you were getting with the three quarter inch um, self-feeding auger bit. You're actually letting it kind of just go at its own natural pace and it does it no problem without cutting out. So once again, this is the M18 fuel and it's going to blaze right through this. I mean, you barely even feel any resistance going through that with the M18 version. All right, and now, last but not least, we are gonna move on to the M18 Surge. Doing the same thing that its little brother, the M12, just did. Okay, so it actually did better with that test than the other one, but as you saw, it actually cut out more, maybe it was a little bit faster, 
but struggled more than the M12 Surge. All right, now we're gonna do three, three and a half inch deck screws each, starting with the M12 Fuel. In speed three, ready, set, go. Now we have the M12 Surge. Ready, set, go. Now the one we know is gonna be the fastest, the M18 Surge, or the M18 Fuel, sorry. And last but not least, the M18 Surge. All right, now testing the decibels of each of these. So 104.5. All right, so max on that one was 88.6. And now the standard M18 fuel impact driver. So 105.4 is the max on that one. All right, and now the M18 surge. Okay, having a hard time getting a reading, but 90 decibels is where that one sits. All right, so there you have it with those results. It's clear that this, the M18 fuel impact driver is still going to be your best bet if you just need to drive a lot of things with a lot of power really fast. There is just nothing that can touch it so far in what I've tested, and these surge impact drivers aren't gonna do it either. But with that being said, this isn't just a clear winner takes all, one is better than the other. It all is going to depend on what you're looking for and how you're going to be using the tool. If you're gonna be using it mostly indoors or in a small confined space, and you don't need to be driving large massive fasteners to do structural framing or something like that, then I actually think that the fuel is going to be good for lighter duty use. There's a reason why I started out this video calling it the gentleman's impact. It just feels like a more refined version even though it's not as powerful or not as strong. So when it comes down to it, would I rather have the M18 or the M12? Well, in my case, with my two examples here, I would actually give the winner to the M12. It's just the more powerful tool for whatever reason. It's not always faster, but it is more powerful and you can feel that as you're using it. It's a little bit lower price when it's kitted out. It's actually a little bit cheaper. It's smaller, it's easier to use, and especially for a lighter DIY task, I think it's the great impact to have or at least one to complement your bigger, more powerful impacts. It just simply gets the job done and it's nicer to use for a majority of those tasks. All right, so there you have it. We didn't run our usual gauntlet with these tools today because I really don't feel like the comparison of these to their non-hydraulic counterparts is what I'm trying to point out. I'm not saying that they are going to be faster or stronger in any way. If you just want speed and power, just go straight to that M18 fuel. It's the most powerful, the strongest I've seen, but it's not necessarily the nicest to use. I do think it's a great impact. It's actually the one I would pick if I could only have one of these. But when it comes to having a variety of tools to help get the jobs done, I think the Surge, it becomes a really powerful tool. For me, I work in a small shop environment with low ceilings where stuff really gets loud when you're starting to use a lot of an impact driver. So there you have it. What I'm referring to is the Gentleman's Impact Driver. I think it's a great option when you just want something that's going to offer the performance or similar performance to an impact driver, but it's gonna give you that more quiet operation, kind of like what you'd expect out of a drill. 
It's a nice hybrid between the two. It's going to get the job done. So thanks for watching here on Tinker with Tools today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave us a comment if you have questions about what we've done here today. And if you'd like to see more great videos, subscribe so you can see the next time we post. Once again, thanks for watching. This has been Tinker with Tools.